Well, everyone, welcome back to my next video. This one is a bittersweet video for me. My dumb dog loves to roll in cow poop. I don't know what's the attraction to cow poop. I don't know. He loves it. Uh, I there was one week I I bathed him from cow poop four times, and four times in one week, uh, and and uh, one of them we were driving. Uh, up in Utah, a high country Utah, there was snow on the ground. So he go, we stop. We got to, he got to go outside, and I let him go out, and he rolls around and poop, and he comes back, and there's snow on the ground. So I'm giving him a bath in the snow, probably at 33 degrees. It was awful. Well, he's done it again. So very simple. I mean, I, I have a, at this point, I have this nice uh, Zodi battery pack, and I'm going to use Dr. Bronner's soap. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Bronner's soap. I got water in my bucket, and uh, big thing being the gloves. I'm, I don't want to handle cow poop. Cow poop's not all that bad, but I don't want to handle it. So here we go. No, <laughs> keeping hold of him is the hardest part. He doesn't like this at all, but I don't like this either. This isn't how I want to spend my evening. It's getting late, although it's uh, we're in Georgia in June so he's good and wet so we'll turn off the pump save the water and Dr. Bronner's and he loves to get it around his neck that's his thing neck and shoulders but everywhere and I have my towel it's in the chair behind me I've just found this the easiest to do with a chair He doesn't like it, and you'd think he'd learn. After the first couple dozen times of doing this, you'd think he'd stop. No, it doesn't stop. This is not bad. I've I've done it a lot of times where there are just chunks. I mean, cow poop chunks everywhere. Come here. And no, no chunks this time, I'm very happy to say, but I'm still wearing gloves. So it wasn't a very big cow patty. Uh, we're in the National Forest, uh, Osini, how do we say that? Osini, we're off of Lake Osini in Georgia, middle of Georgia, south, just south of Atlanta, probably 50 miles, 100 miles south of Atlanta. And there's cattle right next to us in a field. And so he, he snuck over there and got into the cattle. And this is the, this is the easiest it's ever been. I mean, it's almost always literally chunks a cow poop and big chunks on his collar because it's where he wants it. He wants it around his neck. Fortunately this pump works really well. It just really blasts through. Makes it I what I normally do when before I had this was using this pump is I would just uh, pour it water pour the water on him to rinse him and to get him wet and that just doesn't do a very good job. But the gloves were essential. I realized that the very first time I went to grab hold of a great big chunk of poop, cow poop, that your gloves are absolutely essential. All right, I think that's about good enough. Don't smell cow poop anymore, just smell Dr. Bronner. Fortunately, this was not bad. I've had to wash him two or three different times with all the cow poop on him. This isn't one of those times. Oh, Cody. Oh, gross. All right. But you can see, now I've got a, a, a video of bathing dogs with the, uh, the Zodi, but it's got enough power, it just really cuts through the soap. Really gets him rinsed off. Makes a very efficient use of the the water, but it still blasts through a lot of water. No, you stay. Usually take at least three gallons, maybe more. The rinsing is what takes it all. Come back here. Come on. Oh. 
Hey, this, uh, this is no fun for me either. I've actually diluted this Dr. Bronner's too much. I kept diluting it and now it's diluted too much. I usually get just a huge amount of soap. This isn't doing it. But it'll get the job done. Okay, we're going to call that good. So this is the joys of dog ownership, one of the many. However, even with having to give him ba baths, it's been a while. It's been a while since he's rolled in poop. We've been lucky. But even with the joy of dog rolling in poop, it's more than worth it to me. He's my joy. I love this guy. So I'll bathe him and let him get get me all wet just part of life the reason you love dogs so much is because we serve them I know that's sounds stupid but it's true you gotta love something you gotta take care of something you gotta sacrifice yourself for something you don't you're not a full happy human being so I sacrifice myself for my little doggy and it makes me happy, even when it makes me mad. All right, go on. We'll run right inside. And get inside, and he's got a little bed in front. And I don't care if he gets it wet. Kind of not happy about him getting me all wet, but so there you have it. Sometimes your dogs roll and poop, and you give them a bath in the middle of the late at night. Okay, so we'll see you on our next video. Talk to you later. Uh, in the meantime, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and keep find someone in your life to love and serve. I absolutely guarantee that in between the annoyances, your life will be far, far better. Talk to you next time. And I don't roll in poop. <laughs> <laughs> better if you can find someone that doesn't roll in poop. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.